Magandang araw. Akasi Kui Code. Welcome back to my channel. Some of you may have been wondering why I haven't made videos in a, in a while, and that's because I got sick. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to go ahead and start making videos again. Of course, we're going to continue with our uh, software design patterns. So in this video, we're going to talk about the bridge pattern. So the bridge pattern is the design pattern that helps you separate two parts of your system that tend to change independently. So it's kind of like this. Uh, it's a bridge between something or between what something is and how it does something. Uh, so you can change either side without breaking the other. So in this case, you have what something is, a warrior, and how it does combat, whether it, you know, with melee or with magic. Um, of course, this isn't very good because generally, um, you know, instead of creating dozens of subclasses for every combination, like imagine you have all the different class types and you have all the different, you know, styles that it might do or all the might, different weapons it might have or whatever, um, the bridge pattern lets us separate the character's type from their attack strategy. So uh, that way you can freely assign any behavior to any character uh, without, like, you know, changing all your code. Uh, think of it as giving a human character um, a staff or letting an orc use archery or, you know, whatever without having to make all these subclasses. So, like, of course, in this example, you have a warrior type, you attack with the melee, and then you got to, you know, override it to a or war with magic, and then you attack with magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to have these, we're going to have the warrior class and the melee uh, separately. And then also one other thing is that, um, when I was first learning about this pattern, I was kind of confused because I was thinking, well, isn't like the strategy pattern kind of the same thing? And then I was thinking in another example that I had, uh, I had a strategy pattern for a gun because it was a shooting game and you could have one strategy being single fire and then another strategy being full auto or three on burst. So in that case, it's the same gun or the same class except there's different ways that that specific gun works. Whereas in this case, um, you're not really doing the same way method of, or sorry, you're not doing the same thing differently, like multiple ways to do melee. You're just completely switching from melee to magic, which is kind of like different in a way. I guess you could say having a different gun completely rather than thinking of a different way to use the same gun, like I said, whether it's full auto or whether it's, uh, you know, burst fire or whatever. Um, so instead of doing it like this, I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Um, and then as I usually do, I'm going to do from ABC, import ABC, abstract method. And then what I can do is class attack type, which is just our parent class. And then abstract method. And then of course, as you can see, I started, I downloaded Visual Studio again, even though I'm, you know, obviously I'm still on Linux, uh, rather than just using um, PyCharm, not PyCharm. Uh, I forget what it's called, but whatever, <laughs> whatever one I was using before, it's just the Python one. What is it called? Oh, just Python idle. But instead of using Python idle, I just kind of felt like doing something different, so I downloaded this again. Um, let me see. So I'll make a def function here. We'll just call it perform attack. Self name. Uh, name can just be a string. Uh, we can just have it return none. Uh, like I mentioned, doing this and like defining the type is optional and this is the, just the return type it's going to return void it's optional but sometimes it's just nice to do it um we'll just pass for now because it's abstract and then we're going to have a bunch of subclasses that uh will be the children of this one so um we'll just do one for now class melee attack comes from attack type course you need to implement this perform attack that's going to be the, the same of course self name string um, we're still going to return none and we'll just have a print statement here like that and then um, we can do our character uh, game character We'll call 
init self. Uh, we'll get the character name, which is a string. And then, of course, we can just pass in the attack type that we want. That way we can change on the fly. Which is going to be... If I can spell. Attack type. Self.name equals name. And then we can do self.attack type. Attack type equals attack type. And then we'll just have an attack function here as well. Attack self. This is supposed to be on the other side. So I'll delete this. Self dot attack type dot. And then we just call perform attack dot self dot name so that means is that we have a character we can pass in whatever attack type you want and then we can just call perform on whatever attack type you want and then it'll just you know do the attack but obviously in a game or whatever you would just do the animations or whatever calculations for actually doing damage or whatever it is um, but these examples we can always just have print statements because it's easier that way um, so now I'll just do this uh, let's say warrior game character um, some general f warrior fantasy name and then we already made our melee attack type and then that's it and then we can just call warrior dot attack um, and let's just see what this does now click this click that and we got our our output for the attack type. And now what I'm going to do is just simply copy and paste this another two times to make two different types. Um, so one will be for magic, and then one will be for ranged. Uh, and the rest will be the same, but we can just have a different print statement here. And then... Uh, for the magic attack, we can do this one. So now that we have three, let me just, oops, this button. Now that we have the range attack, the magic attack, and the melee attack, um, we can just simply copy this. This one will be the mage, archer, Here's some name for that and some generic name for that. This will be magic attack and this one will be range attack. So that's still going to work like normal mage dot attack and then archer dot attack. So we have the same kind of output that we had before, but then here's the cool part. We can call mage dot attack type equals let's say you like there's a game called runescape some of you have probably heard of it uh where you you're not really defined to specific types you can kind of use multiple different weapons or change classes or you know well your class is kind of defined by your weapon so if you just suddenly put on you know if you equipped a sword then suddenly you're a warrior and then you can just do whatever um so you know even if magic is your main style you can still equip a sword and just use your sword so let's say we change we equip a sword and we change our attack type to um to a melee attack well then suddenly we'll just do this mage dot attack type or attack and now we'll go ahead and print that so even though the first time um oops that was supposed to be melee do it again. So even though the first time the mage character was using a fireball, and now the mage character is able to use a sword. So that's basically it for the bridge pattern. Of course, I'm always learning new ways to use different patterns, uh, but this is just kind of the, the basics where the game character and the attack type are completely separate. So, you know, we can have more attack types that we add on later, or even if these were weapons or whatever, we can very easily take our character 
and change weapon types or you know weapons on the fly and it actually you know works as we would expect so that's it for this video um if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell uh to be notified of any future videos right away and also um let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos see you next time on kuyu code Ta'alam.